the part that was wrong was hold, hold on one second. Can I ask you one thing? I didn't show my ID today that I would even that I would not be able to vote in 2012. Wow. Um, because I repeated that back to him. I said, I have a driver's license. You guys know I have a driver's license. You're telling me that even though I already have a voter ID, that if I do not show my ID today and I sign this, that I will not be able to vote in 2012? And they said yes. That's the part that was incorrect, and they are doing incorrectly. If they're telling other people that, you know, that's wrong. That's um, that's exactly a huge problem, and that's the part of the story that um, needs to get out, and especially, you know, um, I think... Maybe he was just irritated. Maybe he'd had a bunch of people like me not doing that, and maybe at that point, because he was a bit irritated... Maybe he was just tired of this already at you know nine or nine thirty in the morning. Can I? And maybe he wasn't. Maybe he wasn't listening carefully to what I said. But I repeated back to him what he said, and I said, "Is that right? This is what you're telling me." And he said, "Yes." And Can when I got to the end of the table to give her my number so I could go fill in my ballot, I said to Ellie, "I am going to report this." Yes, so, I mean, I have voted at this place for 15 years. Now, all of a sudden, I have to show an ID to people that have seen me walk in there for 15 years and then be told incorrect information at the end of it. And, and let's just clarify. So other people, other people I, I monitor a lot of political Facebook pages. So... I'm sort of keeping up on this. I don't remember every detail, but I sort of keep up on this, and I look at them almost daily. But other people aren't doing that. All they know is maybe what they read in the local paper, which is biased. And then, so so he tells them that, okay, well, if you don't show this, you can vote today, but, you know, come 2012, you can't. So stay home. Wow. You know, because, hey, a town clerk told them they can't. What town was this? That's not right. That is not right. You're right. That, I mean, that sounds pretty serious. The legislators, they don't listen to anybody anyway. They've got their agenda, and they don't listen. What town was this in? Conover. Um, because, I mean, when, when they say that, you're tempted to just get it out and just put an end to this. And I thought, no, I'm not going to, because I know I don't need to show this today. But then to be told, you need to sign this, and these names are going to be reported to the state. Then you wonder, who's going to see my name, and what are they going to do with it? Yeah. And then be told, you can't vote. Well, I know without a voter ID, I wouldn't be able to vote in the next election. That you have to have one before they'll give you the ballot. That's on the sheet that he handed me. Mm -hmm. But I said, I have an ID. I'm just not showing it today. So you're telling me I won't be able to vote? And that was a yes. That's what I really objected to. And that's what got me on the phone when I walked out of there. Um, and now we're... there's a lot of people up here that are not online. They're not watching all of this. All they watch is the local paper, a little bit of news. Maybe they watch Fox News. But they're not seeing. They have no clue about a lot of what's going on. Well, even most of the people who have, I mean, a lot of the information that is out there is confusing. Even some of the legislators are confused. And... When somebody of authority and stature standing on the other side of a table with a voter roll and a pen and a stern look on his face says, do this or else, or you're not going to get to vote in the next election, most people are going to believe it. Because, I mean, they're looking face to face. Most people don't even believe what they read online. The women that are sitting there, you know, there's a couple of them with a notebook. Another one down at the end of the table, you give, she hands you your ballot when you give her your number. And 
he was sitting um, on the left at the end of the table. But nobody was telling him that's not right. Nobody was saying, uh, gee, I, gee, Jim, I don't think that's correct. This just all, you know, go along with it, okay. Wow. So. So tell me in your gut, called, how did you I really feel? I called a friend and I said, this is what happened here. And she said, oh, well, I'll let you know later what happens in the town she's going to be voting in. Tell me in your gut, how'd you, how'd you really feel when you, when you left that polling place? Angry. I was angry. Because either he's not got correct information or he's interpreting it wrong. You know, I don't know which, but gosh, how much warning have we had that these elections were coming since that law was passed? Exactly. Get it, get it right, you know. And I was just glad I knew that I could get on on my phone and find a number to call and then complain about it and say, this needs to get fixed. I'm not looking to get the town clerk into trouble. I'm not and this out and out vindictive, you know, previous voter. But the last part of what I was told to me was incorrect and I thought if he's telling that to other people, others are hearing the same thing. And like I said again, I repeated it back to him in case I had misunderstood what he was saying. And again, I was told that was right. So then I thought, okay, then I'm making a phone call. Mm -hmm. 